new Florida parental freedom and education law was passed to deal with a major worldview divide in America. The distorted rhetoric labeling Florida's legislation about don't say gay demonstrates the hypocrisy of the LGBTQ activism, as this movement had originally showcased itself as being about freedom. But reality is that LGBTQ activism has proven over the last decade to be about advancing a particular agenda at the expense of all alternative ways of viewing the world. The Florida legislation, which defines itself at the outset as about parental rights, has 163 lines, out of which a total of five address sex education. Those few lines simply say that instruction in, in quotes, sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through grade three or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards, out quote. That's it. At core of the new Florida education bill is removing discussion about sexual orientation from classrooms of toddlers. But the LGBTQ activists, oh no, anything not actively promoting their agenda is taken as opposition. For them, freedom and or the tolerance and neutrality that freedom requires is by definition anti-gay. Well, as a Christian, my view is that denial of the reality of man and woman Sexual activity outside the framework of conjugal marriage is sinful and destructive behavior. But I recognize, as do most Christian parents with children in public schools, that our biblical worldview, that point of view, is not going to show up in our government-owned schools. America is a diverse country with many points of view. Yet the headline of an opinion piece in USA Today read, young people in Florida are being told that their sexuality or their gender identity is so wrong that it cannot even be mentioned. Young people in Florida are being told that they live in a free and diverse country. So matters of sexuality should be handled by parents at home and public schools should teach kids how to read and how to do math. It helps these young people to become responsible adults, respectful of others with different opinions. You know, a number of years ago, I mentioned in a TV interview that in public spaces, the rainbow flag offends me as a Christian woman, just as the Confederate flag offends me as a black woman. Well, just for saying this, my office in Washington, D.C. was literally shut down by a tsunami of threats that this comet invoked. And I had to move out of my personal home in California because of the death threats. I didn't say that these folks should not be allowed to live as they choose. I said, essentially, that just as hotels have removed the Bibles that we used to find in the hotel rooms, those Bibles shouldn't be replaced by flying a rainbow flag. I think secular activism is a big factor on why school choice is only promoted on the right. Just take a quick glance at the websites of the two big teachers' unions to see my point, as both the National Education Association and the American Federation of Teachers actively promote the LGBTQ agenda. Those on the left are opposed because they know that school choice takes away their platform for promoting their social agenda in public schools. With this new American phenomenon of two conflicting worldviews raging in a cultural war, if we as a society still think that we can have a one-size-fits-all public school system, then that system should only be a platform to educate children with knowledge and skill to succeed in a free country. All other agendas should be left to parents at home.